Lawmakers on Parliament's Local Government and Public Service Committee have greed officials in the Ministry of Health over delay and non-payment of salaries of health workers. This follows reports that many health workers in different hospitals and health centers across the country are threatening to go on strike. If it were you, would you still be there? And honestly, are you not ashamed? A quarter of a year, no access to the payroll. Is the money not given it to you? Are you trying to sabotage the government? There are some constituencies which don't have health center fours, and there are some counties which don't have health center threes. What is the magnitude of the problem? Come out clearly so that we as a committee can address this challenge. Charukwago says most of the affected health workers are not directly under his docket, but that of local governments. But he had to swallow the bitter pill and apologize for the mess in the health sector. We cannot brush off their complaints. Honorable numbers, we have to apologize. We are leaders to them. There is something which is missing, and there is no reason why we should brush them aside. We apologize that these guys are not given their salary. But on responsibility, we are not totally responsible. Dr. Kwago says over 4,000 health workers have difficulties in accessing the payroll and the efforts to rectify the problem are underway by public service ministry. Others are underpaid, others are halfway paid, others are overpaid, but they are not, others are deleted uh, repeatedly, sometimes they are, they are paid one month and then they are deleted another month and so on. So those 4,000 are our estimate. Last financial year, parliament allocated 46 billion shillings to recruit health workers, but some of the recruits have failed to access the payroll. Much as we are happy that uh, Parliament actually supported us to recruit massively last year, we should be able to report that uh, some of the staff, when they didn't get their payment in time, left. Dr. Rukwago also reported a fraud involving ghost names was being created to access salaries of some health workers. When they change the figure in the account or the computer number, they can also make your name to look as bet numbers. Mm -hmm. When the original name was like numbers, they bet mm -hmm. and they create two people. However, the Ministry of Public Service recently claimed the delay and non payment of salaries of government workers resulted from installing the integrated personal payment system. Local government officials also appeared in the same committee were thrown out after they claimed local government workers had no challenges with the government payroll. We don't have any major problem with unpaid uh, salary areas. The committee also issued police summons to the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Education to appear in Parliament to explain salary delays and non-payment. This was after they failed to appear in the committee. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament. <laughs>